Hello everyone, this is another game I played on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. And as you can see, I'm starting off with my Sableye. This is again my Dark Rye Heart to Gun deck. And we'll see what my opponent is playing right now. So, looks like they're going first. And we see a Namolga in the active spot. We're using a level ball. And let's see what they get. Okay, it's a Ralts, so not an electric deck, which was what I thought. Thankfully he ends me because I had no energy. Now I have Darkrai, which is good. He's going to attach to a Molga and probably use Call for Family to get more Ralts on the bench. So, I believe he's probably going to take a while to do this. Um, but yeah, with the release of Gallade in this new set, you're probably going to see some uh, Gardevoir Gallade combinations to try to take advantage of Gallade's uh, attack, which deals, I believe, 20 more for each energy in play on your side of the field. And Gardevoir's attack uh, doubles every psychic energy, so that's a, a there's a good synergy there. So he actually goes for Ralts and Sigilyph which is not great on my part because I can't attack Siglyph yet for much and he can stall me so I decided to end hoping I get something better um, I get a Dark Rai which I put on the bench so now I have two and I decide to go for the Dino here I'm trying to decide what to discard I think um, yeah Super Rod needs to go Okay, so I go for the dino, and I'm just going to get back what I just discarded anyway. So I'm going to junk hunt, and I'm going to get the rare candy and the super rod. I don't need the super rod yet, but just in case, I want to keep it in my deck. So now it's my opponent's turn. Let's see what he does. Probably can't retreat yet to attack. Okay, he attaches to Ralts, so maybe he's going to attack with Ralts. Can't do much. Oh, okay, so we see a Hypnotoxic Laser, and thankfully I'm only poisoned and not asleep. So he ends once again, and, well, I have no energy in my hand again, but I thankfully have supporters. So he evolves into Curlia. He's probably going to retreat Amolga and attack with Curlia. So let's see if that's what he does. Yep. He's going to use Cybolt, and I believe that confuses on a coin flip, and he doesn't get it. So that's good for me. Uh, fortunately, here I get an Ultra Ball. So, I'm going to Ultra Ball away two things and to get Hydreigon with that rare candy in hand. So, getting rid of a Dark Patch and a Catcher, and I get a Hydreigon. So, rare candy, Hydreigon. Great. Now I can use N to see if I can get some energy in hand. I'm just, I guess I'm debating whether or not to use it. Yep, and I managed to get energy. So now I'll have enough energy. So I also got a level ball, which I guess I'm deciding to use here to get another Sableye to use it to junk hunt instead of keeping the one in the active to make sure I'm not going to um, be knocked out at the end of my next turn. So I'm going to retreat the active. And I'm going to go into the Fresh Sableye, Dark Transit Energy onto it, and Junk Hunt. So here, I'm not sh just making sure there's something worth getting. Yeah, I probably want that Dark Patch, and I probably want the Catcher for now, because I can't really do much damage. So I go for Dark Patch, and I go for Catcher. So, my opponent's turn. Can he get a Gallade out? And a Guard of War. 
which is the main problem with this deck that my opponent's using. It's running two stage two uh, Pokemon, and that's pretty difficult to get up and running. So, it's taking a while to decide. So, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so he decides to Ultra Ball. At this point, he can get Gardevoir or Gallade. He goes for Gallade. I play it down to the active. So he needs one more energy on it to attack. And he also gets a mute he also has a Mewtwo on the bench now. And another Ralts. Yeah, so powerful storm is the attack. That does a more damage based on how many energy are on the field. So right now I think he can hit for fifth oh no, eighty. Oh, because Emolga has energy on it. Okay, so now I have enough energy on my side of the field. Thanks to Dark Patch. I decided to share in. Get potions, which are good. So, Dark Patch. Get an energy. Put it on to my bench uh, Dark Ray. Attach a blend to the active. And I'm going to move the energy from my bench to my active to using Dark Trans. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here, just fumbling around. Okay, so now I want to know if it's the best idea to just attack Gallade or go for something else. Since my goal is ultimately to try to limit the amount of energy he has on his field. So I see that Amolga has energy, so I decide to go after it and a hit Gallade, I think with the bench. And the, yeah, from the bench. So that gets one energy off his field which is good since I couldn't one-shot Gallade anyway I figure I should try that way so now let's see what my opponent promotes to the active um, he might decide to go with Gallade he might decide to stall until he can get more energy on it because uh, Darker Eye does resist Psychic so he's going to have a hard time taking it out So again, my opponent's taking a while. Let's see. He could just promote Siglyph and stall. That's probably what I would do in this situation, but he doesn't. He promotes Gallade. Grab a prize and it's a Hydreigon. That doesn't do me much. He's going to capture my Hydreigon and end me. So he gets rid of all the supporters I had. Plays on Verbank and plays Hypnotoxic Laser. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I'm put to sleep, so that's not good. And I'm poisoned. So he'll be able to hit me for quite a bit, but not enough for the knockout. And thankfully I have the potion. So I'm asleep, and I have quite a bit of damage, so I need to get that uh, Hydreigon out of the active. I attach Eviolite, uh, Sharon, and attach a dark energy to Hydreigon so I can retreat it and need to dark transit energy off once it's there so I can use the max potion so I'll dark transit on to the bench dark rye and yep use a max potion so now I, I can attack Gallade and also hit the bench so I'm gonna hit one of the routes in, antip in anticipation for a uh, Gallade. Sorry, for a Gallade or a Gardevoir. Let's see what she can get, if any. If he gets a Gardevoir, it'll only double his current psychic energy on the field, so he won't be doing much more damage than he already is. He's going to Skyla. since Gardevoir's ability only works on Psychic Energy attached to Psychic Pokemon. So yep, he gets a Gardevoir. So now there's two Psychic Energy instead of just one, and a DCE attached to the active Gallade. And he hits me, but not for much. So I'm going to attach another Energy. And yeah, I have 40 damage on the Darkrai. No need to get a Max Potion. 
but I end anyway. Um, so I have the computer search. I could get a catcher or anything to see if that'll get me the game. But instead, I decided to play down the dino and just attack because I'll knock out uh, Galley that way. And I hit the routes. So I take two prizes that turn. And let's see where my opponent takes her from here. Yep, Siglyph. So Siglyph stall, maybe? Yep. Looks like that's going to be his approach. There's much, not much he can do at this point, so I don't know what the strategy will be. Oh, and he scoops. Thank you for watching.